Hi, this is Leslie Langna at Design World Magazine, and I'm here today at the Rapid Plus TCT Show live in Pittsburgh this week. And I'm here with Greg Thompson of Proto Labs. He's the global mar marketing manager. Global there? product manager. Global yeah. product manager at Proto Labs. And so tell me a little bit about what Proto Labs is demonstrating and showing here at the show. Yeah, well, Proto Labs as a whole, we're, we're an, a fully digital on demand manufacturer of either low volume or production parts. Um, we've got three primary services that we've got. We've got injection molding. Um, we're very fast on injection mold, so we take the traditional process, which is weeks and weeks, and we can get you parts in 15 days or less. We're just as fast in our CNC machining, three days or less on that. But, we're, you know, we're really highlighting, obviously, here at Rapid, their 3D printing. So. Uh, you know, we've got our core technologies. We offer uh, stereolithography, we off offer SLS, and we offer DMLS. So we do uh, plastics and metals printing. You know, you're mentioning a little bit about the overmolding that you introduced last year. How does that fit into the picture? Yeah, so on our injection molding service, we actually have uh, two, um, two processes. One is the, the liquid silicone rubber, the LSR molding, and we've got, last year we, we launched the overmolding. So we've been a lot of questions from our designers and engineers around, you know, how do we prototype and simulate that earlier on in the stage with 3D printing? Um, and so that was, uh, you know, before a gap in our process. And so we're always looking, we're technology agnostic at Protolabs, we're always looking to serve more parts and more projects. And so we, you know, we were looking to, to solve that elastomeric option within 3D printing. Any tips on how they can use 3D printing to do that initial uh, prototype? Yeah, absolutely. We just launched actually PolyJet into our technology. So now we have a fourth core technology that we're using. And so PolyJet is very fantastic for those that aren't familiar. Uh, you can print a range of durometers within the same part on the same print. So this is a tree. So you can choose anywhere from a 30A all the way up to a rigid part or variations in between. Um, so you can either choose to print an elastomeric part like a seal, a gasket, a dampener, or you can print all of that together on one part to simulate overmold. So here is a, a brush with soft bristles but a hard grip. And you can range colors as well, so you can have um, you know, two-tone colors, either aesthetics, indicator marks, or um, you know, like grips, brushes. So anything that you would need for a traditional overmold part, you can do your early prototyping uh, with 3D printing now off our PolyJet service. Now, what are you seeing as far as trends in materials? Well, there's, um, there are lots of different things that are going on with the materials. Um, you know, obviously, I think more and more of the materials are moving, you know, getting enhanced into more pro production grade. Um, so, you know, production is, is a lot of the questions. How do we get more mechanical properties for those that need either maybe higher strength or higher resistance um, or whatever their application would require? Um, so as you move from the prototype into the production stage, so we actually... Um, building on that, a lot of the requests that we've gotten for elastomeric parts on our SLS business, we just launched a TPU 70A. So this is a, uh, a true TPU. Uh, it's built off an SLS machine, and it's highly flexible. It's got you know elongation of break over 300. Um, and so for applications that need engineering grade, um, you know EB or tear or you know tear strength or abrasion resistance, we have that option as well. Um, so, you know, ver a very cool augmentation to, to solve a lot of these elastomeric needs that we've been asked about. Now, I understand you're working with Hewlett Packard with their 3D printing process, and you have some parts here yeah. to show a little bit of the differences? Yeah, so we're, we're one of their foundational customers. We've had a machine uh, since, you know, late January, um, and we've been putting it through, we've got very high quality standards, so we've been putting it through our, our testing phase, um, and we do have a couple different parts. So. We're really pleased with how the parts are coming out right now. We think it's a really good complement to our SLS business. Um, so as HP has said in a lot of a lot of their materials, and we found to be true, um, the surface finish on the multi-jet fusion parts are uh, they're they're improved over what we historically customers have seen in, in SLS. Um, and you get a little bit finer feature detail out of the MJF process. As importantly, um, it's a lot more isotropic. Uh, so you don't get some of the degradation of the mechanicals in the in the Z-build direction that historically you've seen. Um, there's still definitely room for SLS though. Um, SLS, uh, you know, some of the larger format machines. So um, if you're constrained by build envelope, you can still go SLS. And some of the specialty materials, um, you know, filled, like either fiber filled or glass filled, those are still available. Um, as of yet, not available in, in MJF. So right now we, we see the two being very complementary. And in fact, um, we're now moving forward into an alpha test on multi-jet fusion. So we're going to offer part services to a select group of customers. Um, it's available in the research and development um, 
page on our website. They can tell us a little bit about their project, submit it for, uh, for consideration, and we'll pick a few and print the parts and really get their feedback on you know, their thoughts around the part quality and the applications, if it's good for their uses, um, you know, their feedback around you know, our, our approach and pricing, and that'll help us um, you know, build up our online quoting that our customers have come to know and expect. And you know, we intend to be in market here by uh, you know, the end of the year. Now, are you still seeing a, a trend where a lot of the materials are proprietary, or are we seeing much more of a flow into more of an open market, open source kind of material yeah, system? I, you know, I, there's still a mix of both um, out there right now, but I do think the trend is moving to, to open source. Certainly, HP has said that. You know, obviously, you know, the introduction this morning from Desktop Metals is more of an open system. Uh, and I, I think the goal there is to drive a lot of advancements in the materials themselves, as well as to kind of bring the cost down and really help move that cost curve you know, out to the right. You know, right now, um, you know, uh, 3D printing is an out outstanding solution in the hundreds of units, and we really need to get that into the thousands and ultimately the tens of thousands. And, and I certainly think we can get there, and there's going to be a lot of really great um, you know, companies that are putting a lot of investment behind that technology advancement that will help us get there. There goes the razor blade model, right? <laughs> <laughs> well, and it, you know, the beautiful thing about 3D is once, once you know, the, the economics start making more sense, it opens up so much of those unique designs and considerations that just aren't achievable in conventional manufacturing. You know, we like to say, if it's a hard part to make traditionally, it's a good candidate for 3D. If you can design it where it's impossible to make traditionally, it's the perfect candidate for 3D. So for engineers who want to more information from Protolabs, where do they go to? Absolutely. Come to protolabs.com, upload your CAD file, and within hours you can get a uh, feedback on your part with Design for Manufacturing or in the 3D. Uh, it's an instant online quote. So come to protolabs.com, show us your part, pick your technology and material. We'd be happy to help you out on your project. All righty. That's it for Protolabs from Rapid Plus TCT Live.